Do I still like this? I don't know. It's just a lot out the window. Goodbye. It's definitely giving like 70s pool boy. I clearly don't love it. I'm tired of it. So this is gonna go. It's gotta go. Not doing it. Don't like how this looks on me. Booted out of my closet. I feel like I'm being punked. It literally looks like fur. This is the aftermath. Holy shit. I'm tired. <laughs> Today, we are purging my entire closet again. The first time that I did this video, it became the most successful video on my channel. But we're back for a part two because my closet desperately needs a complete overhaul, okay? And that might sound dramatic, but I have genuinely been feeling so uninspired and not confident with the clothes that I currently own. Because my own style, as well as my body, is changing so constantly, I feel like I really do need these like extreme purges to keep me happy with my wardrobe. Clothes are so important. They have such a profound effect on your confidence. And I'm a big believer that purging, reinventing, learning your style is so important. Important. So today we are going to be purging this closet. I genuinely want to get rid of a lot of items. Most of the stuff that I am getting rid of will be listed on my Poshmark. So if there's anything you see and you're like, Brielle, why the fuck did you sell that? You can probably find it on my Poshmark if you want to buy it for yourself. A lot of stuff doesn't fit me. A lot of stuff I just do not like anymore or have worn too much. And I'm straight up going to be cutthroat. It doesn't matter how many times I've worn the thing. It doesn't matter who got it for me or how much money it was. I want to be picky as hell. I have my Starbucks iced chai. Without further ado, let's get into it. We're going to break it down by category like we did last time. So we're going to start with tops. I'm going to be trying shit on throughout this video so you guys can see what the pieces look like. Popping pictures up on the screen if I have them. You know the drill. Okay, let's do it. So I wanted to show you guys a quick before of my closet. So this is how full it is. Let's open the other side. This is the other side. Basically this whole thing is pretty jam packed with clothes. And hopefully by the end of this, it'll be looking a lot more sparse. All right, let's get into it. First things first, we have this hot pink tie top from Social Tourist. I have a feeling I'm going to keep this, but let's just put it on for shits and giggles, shall we? I do really like this. I feel like with a black tank, top and jeans it would be perfect to throw on i also feel like something like this would be really cute over like a swimsuit during the summer potentially next we have this top and this top i have mixed feelings about it's like a very towel like material like it literally is a towel <laughs> this is great as a beach cover-up i wear it i would say pretty often as a beach cover-up with the matching shorts would i say that i think it's like the most attractive or cool outfit maybe not i don't know i have mixed feelings let's try it on i don't know i don't know it's it's definitely giving like 70s pool boy i'm gonna keep it with some hesitancy <laughs> but i'm gonna keep it okay next we have this green sweater from Abercrombie and Fitch. I'm gonna keep this as well. I have not worn it much. It's really nice material and I think it's good for like work and more serious events. I don't have many just like long sleeve shirts. I feel like this is just very practical for me to own and also I do think it's cute and I like the color on me. I'll try it on just so you guys can see it. I know I said I was gonna be ruthless and I've kept everything so far, okay? We will get to stuff that I'm getting rid of. This is what the sweater looks like. She's a keeper. Next we have this white halter. This has been through the ringer. I wear this a lot, but it's just kind of worn down. And I think I just need new basics. So I think this is gonna go. It's also just stained, discolored. Something I'm trying to get better about is when something is just worn or ragged or stops feeling good quality or like nice, getting rid of those things because I want to treat myself with respect. And part of that is believing that I deserve to have nice things, good quality things, and my stuff deserves to be clean, good material. So for those reasons, I'm gonna say goodbye to this lovely little halter top. Just so you can see, I feel like you can tell it's like got some discoloration around the seams. Next we have this, it's this green, green? Okay. <laughs> Next we have this brown tank, which I'm gonna try on. Cause to be honest, it's been a long time since I've worn this and I need to just see it and be like, do I still like this or not? Okay, this is a thousand percent staying. I forgot how much I love this. I love the little peplum. I love the cutouts. The one thing is I have a few of these tank tops that like just cannot be worn with a bra. And to be honest, I definitely do prefer how shirts look on me with a bra. I just don't really have much going on. So 
<laughs> no bra. Doesn't look as nicely shaped. Okay, this is getting TMI. We're done. Speaking of tops that can't be worn with a bra, I have these tanks as well. This is a bright orange tank top. I wore this to a Sabrina Carpenter concert only a few days ago. And then I have this green number. This is such a cool top. It's like, has this really cool pattern to it. And then it also has this layered piece that almost looks like a cami or something underneath, but it's just part of the shirt. I do really like both of these tops. This is for sure staying. This one I have mixed feelings about because even though I really like it, I've noticed that like the way that it was fitting me just ended up making me feel extremely insecure. That being said, I do really like the style of both of these. So I think I'm gonna hang on to them at least for one more summer. Ever since I decided to keep this, I've been thinking about it. And generally this is an indication to me that I'm not fully confident in the decision to keep it. Therefore, I think I'm gonna put it in the selling pile. There's a few different things that I like to use to kind of wean out what I'm keeping versus what I'm not keeping. Different strategies to help me purge effectively, if you will. And one of the strategies that I really like to actually assess whether I like a piece and think it's cool is I'll think of people whose style I admire and I'll ask myself, would said person wear this item? And just thinking of some of my personal style inspirations, I can't imagine them wearing this. So that's usually a pretty good side to me that maybe it's time to part with it. This is just a way for me to make sure that I'm moving in the right direction in terms of my personal style and like actually starting to align my wardrobe more with what I like. I wanna feel fully happy with, confident, and excited to wear the items that I am keeping. And I feel pretty good about that with all the other pieces that I've kept so far. Okay, let's move on. Okay, next we have this little button up top. Ignore the fact that I'm wearing it with the most unlogical stuff. It's just like a businessy shirt type material, but it's cropped. I feel like this with a black tank top, a pair of like flared leggings, that's a great go-to work-ish outfit. So we're gonna keep this. And I do really like this piece. I just think it has limited wearability besides that one context, that one outfit that I could see myself wearing this with, but I at least have a very specific idea of how and when I would wear this. Next we have this black top. This is a great basic, but one source of contention with this shirt is that it's so close to being able to be worn with a regular bra, but it's not quite there. I still have to wear strapless with this because this seam just goes too far to the sides, but I really like this. I feel like it's classy. It's just like a good basic, a good go-to when I want to just wear a black top and jeans. Like this would be a great, just like basic outfit. This is definitely staying in the closet. I feel like it is something that I wear pretty frequently and that I feel comfortable in. Next we have this like mustardy, kind of oversized sweater. This is absolutely staying in my wardrobe. I wear this a lot. <laughs> it's probably the shirt that I wear the most going into the office because it's still comfortable. It looks put together, but it's really easy to wear and like can go with jeans, can go with leggings. Like it's just a great staple of my closet. And I feel like these earthier tones look really good with my skin tone. So I think this is from Aritzia. It's just a ribbed white tank top. In theory, very versatile and wearable, but I never reach for this. And I think there's a few reasons. One, it's a little bit long for my taste. I like tank tops that end like that, right? But this has just like an extra inch of fabric at the bottom. It is also suffering from the common issue that I have, which is discoloration around this seam. I don't know. I can't make my mind up about this one, but I have a feeling I might just sell it because I clearly don't love it. <laughs> this top has my heart forever. I love it. Something about it. It just looks great. I've worn this to death and there's a reason and I don't think I'm ready to part with it yet. I also really like that the material is stretchy, so I feel like it fits me no matter how my body fluctuates. This top is one that I recovered from the crypt. <laughs> from the graves. It was at my home in New Jersey and then I told my mom that I wanted it back, but I'm gonna get rid of it again. I just don't feel like it fits me very well. And to be honest, the material has definitely lost some of its thickness. I hate how it looks from the side. And so it's definitely going. Goodbye. Next we have this sweatshirt. This is definitely a more recent purchase and I love this. It says Los Angeles on it. It's like a waffle weave material and I've been getting a ton of wear out of it. So gonna keep this, it's still feels feels fresh. I'm not sick of it or anything. A piece that I cannot say the same thing about <laughs> is this purple butterfly top. I wore this so much in 2021. I'm tired of it. Like, I think it's really cute. Oh, strap. 
It's just like a wrap top, as you can see, silky material with butterflies on it, ties in the back. I mean, it's an iconic piece. Definitely go scoop it up on my Poshmark because it served me well and I wore it so much, but I just think it's time for her to retire. Y'all, I gotta say, I forgot how exhausting it is to film these videos and try on so many clothes. I'm pushing through for you guys, but holy shit, I'm tired. <laughs> it's a little bit mentally taxing as well. I think I talked about this in the last video. Going through clothes, for me at least, can be kind of an emotional and draining process because it really brings my insecurities to the surface. When things don't fit the way I want them to, or I just have to look at my body a lot, it can be a lot. It can be a lot mentally. I hope you guys are enjoying the video though. Like it if you are. I have a feeling it's gonna be a long one again. Next we have this. It feels very jarring <laughs> in the middle of the day. This is definitely a, like a going out top for me, but I do really like it. My only beef with this shirt is that these buttons I feel like are really kind of temperamental and I do always have a bit of a fear that they're gonna become undone. That being said, I think I wanna keep this. It is not the most comfortable to be honest. I don't know. Yeah, I do think I'm gonna keep it, but I really would like to start getting more wear out of this. And then again, I don't really go out much. <laughs> Next up, we have this little checkered cropped, what's the word, flannel. Flannels are not really something that I would say are in my style. However, I do like this one. I like that it's two-toned, that it's cropped, and I do feel like I get a good amount of wear out of it. One of my favorite go-to outfits is just like leggings, black tank top, this cropped flannel. I am gonna keep this. This purple sweater, I think it was from Aritzia. I think that it is time for this sweater to go. And I'll tell you why after I put it on. I need to get out of this corset. <laughs> it is not a comfortable base shirt for me to be trying stuff on over. So this is the sweater. It's not that I think it looks terrible. I feel like the shape of it is just a little bit weird. Like it has very defined shoulders. It's very wide cut. Like it comes out very far to the side. And then the like sleeves have this tapered situation. I feel like for something like this, where it's a, more of a layering piece, I prefer more of an oversized kind of fit, more of a comfy fit. And this just, it's too hugging. I also just don't feel like I reach for it ever. And maybe it's because of those reasons. Maybe it's just because it doesn't excite me, but regardless, I think that's also good grounds for it to be booted out of my closet. So this is gonna go. Next we have this top, which is actually the top that I wore when I was filming the first purging my closet video that I ever did. And it is being purged today. I genuinely don't think I've worn it since I filmed that video. I just really don't think it's very flattering on me at all. And yeah, this little knit tank is from Abercrombie and Fitch. I feel like every time I put it on, I end up switching it out because I don't feel confident in it and that is definitely grounds for booting, so this piece is going as well. Next up is this sweater. Let's go ahead and put this on, mostly because I wanna get out of this corset. <laughs> There we go. <laughs> I love this sweater. It has gotten so much wear. I believe it's from Abercrombie & Fitch. I love Abercrombie & Fitch. I've gotten actually a lot of clothes from them. So very much a fan of this sweater and it's definitely staying in my closet. I wear this a lot. Okay, this tank top. Another one that I have mixed feelings about. It's like this really nice mint green color, but again, it suffers from the same issue of just being a little bit too long for what I really like. I also feel like it just has a really high neckline so it's missing the crop it has a high neckline which I feel like just results in my entire upper body just looking like a rectangle <laughs> I've also definitely noticed that when I do wear this top I end up feeling insecure throughout the day which again is not something that we like and is grounds for eliminating a top or any article of clothing okay next up we have this Balenciaga sweater this clothing item is the most random flex in the world okay I bought this on eBay or something. It wasn't like cheap, but it also was not hundreds of dollars. And I do think it's a really cool piece. Like it's just like a random fun little thing that I own. And I really like it cause it's kind of slouchy, kind of comfy. And I've tucked it in before. I've also just worn it like this. I feel like this with leggings is like a very comfy fit. I just think it's fun to own this. So we're keeping the Balenciaga sweater. One of my only designer items I own literally this might actually be it. This might be the only designer item I own. Yeah, that kind of tracks. Okay. <laughs> 
This top is from Princess Polly. I bought it at a time where I was feeling like I wanted to be more risque and wear the tiny, tiny little tops, like all the cool Los Angeles girls. It is cute. I just feel like my current self does not feel comfortable walking around like this. Genuinely, it's just too revealing. There's no back to this top. Yeah. It's a little much for me and it, it's like the sides are all exposed. I don't know, it's just a lot. I don't feel very comfortable in it. So it's going out the window. I should feel comfortable wearing everything I own. That is important. All right, I'm gonna pick up filming this tomorrow and we'll continue purging my entire closet. Good work so far team. I feel like we're making great progress. This is the aftermath of day one of cleaning out my closet. Welcome back. We are on to day two of purging my closet. Let's get back into it. I'm feeling refreshed, ready to roll. Okay, so, so far, these are all of our keepers and we've decided to get rid of these. So, so far I'd say it's almost a 50-50 split. We're keeping slightly more than we're getting rid of and I'm happy with that. Okay, so this sweater, I already know that I'm definitely keeping this. This is from Brandy Melville. It's a pretty new find and I love it. I love the varsity vibes. This sort of gray bodysuit is also staying. This is definitely a piece that I would say aligns with my desired style direction. Very cool, very sleek. I like it. So <laughs> this one's staying too. Next we have this cotton on top again love this love this with a pair of leggings i'm a fan this top is one of my favorite go-to tops it's just this lacy tank top and it fits really well i'm not ready to part with this top yet just because it is such a go-to piece next up we have this blue bolero from princess polly i love princess polly and i've been so into the like knitted trend i love this i think it's so cute it's such an easy way to spice up like a plain top. I don't think I would wear it with this just because <laughs> the cut of this top, it looks kind of silly, but with like a halter top or a different tank top, this is really cute. And I also like that it kind of does keep you warm. I feel like it's very appropriate for an LA winter. This tank top from Aritzia, it's very much the same exact texture as the other white top from Aritzia that I showed you guys yesterday. Let me grab it. Yeah, these two are definitely the same exact material and I don't love either of them. I just don't think I like this like thicker material for a tank top. I think I prefer tank tops that are more of a lightweight material. And also it's just such a pain to put on with the cross neckline. I feel like it's really easy to get makeup stuck on it and all of that. So I think that this top is gonna go. I'll try it on really quick just so you guys can see what it looks like. It feels very tight and restrictive and I don't like how this neckline is always getting messed up. I also just feel like white tops, they're kind of starting to be more trouble than they're worth. I feel like they always get dirty. They always start getting worn out way faster than any other top. And I don't even really love how they look on me that much. So I'm seeing just how many like white and cream pieces I'm getting rid of. Like literally a majority of the items that I've decided to sell or donate have been white or cream, which is a red flag to me that I should be hesitant when buying white or cream pieces. So that's good to know. Something else that I feel like I've really started picking up on is ease of wear. How easy an item is to put on it does really factor into how much I wear them and whether or not I really like the piece long term. Red flag in my head now to look out for tight necklines or things that are just difficult to get on. Getting dressed should be like fun and easy. I'm going to keep that in mind going forward. Then we have this, which is the black version of the pink tie shirt that I ended up keeping. I will say I don't wear it as frequently as I was expecting to. I'm still kind of trying to learn how to style it. When I bought it, it was definitely with the attention to wear it with the matching pants, which I also have. But I found that the time that I did wear this set together, I feel like I was just drowning in it, like because they're both kind of oversized pieces. I just didn't end up feeling very confident, which is crazy because when I tried them on together in store, I really loved this set. I think I'm going to hang on to them for now. Again, I think this will be good to throw on over a bathing suit or in the evenings for the summer. This is an aloe yoga sports top and I'm struggling to show it to you. <laughs> it is a one shoulder, very tiny little exercise top. How does it even go? Okay. Okay. You see it? This is how you wear it. I'm getting rid of this because I find it so impractical 
comfortable. It doesn't have the best grip and I feel like when I have it on, it's just slipping and I have to worry about like a nip slip, which I don't wanna like feel like my clothes are temperamental when I'm working out, you know? I want clothes that stay in place and also that make me feel confident and I'm really starting to realize that like tiny little workout tops like this, even though I like how they look on other people, they're not really what make me feel confident when I'm working out. I feel like when you're working out, you're moving around so much and you don't wanna be constantly worried like about keeping your clothes in place or like am I exposing too much? Like how do I look in this? So for those reasons, this is going out the door. It's kind of temperamental and tight to put on and I'm just not down with it. So that's going. Next we have this knit Princess Polly top. I got this at the same time as I got that blue little sweater and I love it. This is like one of my favorite tops. I love this and it's absolutely staying. Then we have this Abercrombie and Fitch blazer, which I have yet to wear, which I'm so sad about. I bought this and I was so excited about it, but I think I'm just really struggling with learning how to wear it. I feel like this is just so out of my comfort zone and I want to wear it to the office, but I just don't really understand how to wear it. So I want to keep it just to give it more of a shot, but I really do need to just like learn how to style a blazer. I really struggle with that. Okay, next up we have these two sweatshirts. Once again, these are items that I retired, I sent off to my house in New Jersey and then brought back into my life because I do really love both of these. I have this Yosemite Bears sweatshirt and this green Hawaii sweatshirt. I love both of these, but I also have just worn them to death. I know I have had them since college, so I've had these in my collection for years now, and I do just feel like I want some fresh sweatshirts that are new. I love the material of these, though. I think they were both from, yeah, this one's Brandy Melville and this one's John Galt. I bought them both at PacSun. I love the Brandy Melville sweatshirts, so I could totally see myself going there and getting some new ones, but yeah, I just think that it's just time for these to retire and to potentially be sold. While we're on the topic of sweatshirts, let's go through these. I have this cropped Montana sweatshirt. This is from Garage. I do really love this sweatshirt, but again, I think I just have kind of gotten sick of it. Plus, I feel like Montana. Do I actually give a singular shit about Montana? Not really. So I just think it's time for it to go. Then we have this zip up aloe yoga sweatshirt, which I am gonna keep. It's very practical for me to put on when I'm like going to a workout class in the evening and it's a little chillier. And then I can easily take it off when I get there without like ruining my ponytail random issue, but you know. So I think I'm gonna hold on to this. And I'm also gonna hold on to this black sweatshirt. It just says Lacoste in big writing. This is probably one of my sweatshirts that I've worn the least. And it's also probably my most like put together looking sweatshirt. Then we have this leather blazer, which I bought on, I think Depop. It was like a secondhand leather blazer. I'm gonna keep this. It's like my go-to going out jacket and also pretty much the only jacket that I own. So definitely staying in my closet cause I get a ton of wear out of it. I'm also gonna hang on to this cropped Los Angeles sweatshirt. This was also a recent purchase that I got from Brandy Melville, like literally maybe a month or two ago. So this is staying in my closet. I still have plenty of wear to get out of that. Okay, then I have this and it has a matching pair of shorts, but I can't find them right now. Maybe they're to be washed. I'm kind of on the fence about this. It is like just a very comfortable go-to outfit. This, the shorts and a black tank top underneath is like very easy, effortless. It's giving grandpa on vacation <laughs> vibe. Like this is something that I would describe as ugly cute in the sense that it's like kind of an ugly pattern. I do have mixed feelings about the cuteness of it. I do foresee myself getting a lot of actual use and wear out of this during the summer. It's very practical. So I'm gonna hang on to it for that reason. This is a, oh my God, it has deodorant stains on it. We're gonna ignore that. I have this cropped aloe workout top and I'm getting rid of this for several reasons. One, you can see the super tight neckline here. That's just so impractical to me. It's hard to put on. Obviously, as you can see, it gets stained very easily. And also it's just really tiny and not the most flattering. I put it on the other day to potentially wear to the gym and immediately was like, nope, not doing it. Don't like how this looks on me. And I have the matching leggings, which I have similar feelings about. I don't feel like it's a flattering fit. So hopefully they do well on Poshmark, but those are going out the window. And I do definitely feel like I've learned a little bit more about my preferences when it comes to workout clothes. So hopefully in the future, I'll be able to buy things that are a little more realistic and that I will actually want to wear. I have a couple dresses in my closet. I'm not gonna really bother going through them because I think I'm just gonna hang on to all of them. And without further ado, we're gonna get into pants and shorts. So we're switching from tops to bottoms. And just a quick recap in terms of where we're at. Everything you see here, 
are our keepers so far. And this is the pile of literally everything that I'm getting rid of. So I would say we've made really good progress so far. All right, let's get started on talking about shorts and pants. A lot of these items I have not worn in a while. The shorts I haven't really worn since last summer. So I have no idea how things are gonna fit me. First up, we have these gray cargos. I bought these to primarily wear with that gray bodysuit you saw earlier. And it's such a cool little outfit. Definitely gonna hang on to these and they fit me well and yeah, I like these. Okay, so these shorts are the matching shorts to the towel top that I decluttered yesterday. So I'm gonna get rid of this as well. I can't foresee wearing these without the rest of the set. So next we have these tiny little VSX Victoria's Secret Sport shorts. These are so old. I've had these for years and years and years. And to be honest, I don't love them, but I don't have any other workout shorts at the moment. So I am literally just going to hang on to these until I have new workout shorts. That's something I need to order and then they're going because I've had them way too long and they're also just really tiny on me. Next we have these Princess Polly leggings and guys these have got to just go in the trash because can you guys see this? It is furry in the crotch of these pants and it has been for a while. They've just pilled super bad. It literally looks like fur. <laughs> and it has it all over the seams. And I've hung on to these for so long because I do wear them frequently, but I'm like, I can't be walking around in these, okay? It's gotten to the point where it's embarrassing for me <laughs> to be out and about in these pants. And like I've said a million times, you deserve to feel good in your clothes. You deserve to have high quality clothes that look put together, whatever. A guiding principle for me is treating myself as high value, treating myself with respect, and wearing furry leggings is not treating myself with respect. Then we have this Aritzia skirt. So it's shorts in the back, skirt in the front, and I'm gonna get rid of this as well. Guys, hot take, I don't like Aritzia. Every piece that I bought from them, I end up not wearing. Like, I just don't think they're practical for me. Something about it, something about the materials they use, the fits of their items, I don't find it flattering, I don't like it. Every pair of pants I've tried on in there, I did not like. And hot take, I'm not shopping there anymore because their stuff is so expensive. And I buy these pieces being like, I'm gonna get this really nice high quality piece. And I'm gonna get so much use out of it. And then I don't, so hot take. Aritzia is out of my rotation of stores that I like, okay? Anyway. I'm gonna get rid of this. I just don't really love it. Like the fact that it looks like shorts in the back and it looks like a skirt in the front, when you put it on, it just feels kind of weird to me now. I thought it was like cool and inventive when I first bought it, but now I'm just like, I either want it to look like shorts or I want it to look like a skirt. Having it half and half feels kind of weird to me. Next, we have these gray cargo pants. These are a pretty recent purchase and a pair of pants that I really, really do like. So these are going to be staying. These are from Garage. Next, we have these black shorts, which I wore to death last summer, but as much as I hate to say it, I don't believe that these fit me anymore. I'm gonna try to put them on just to confirm because I did really love them, but it's okay that I have to get rid of them because they were not expensive. I literally got these from Target and they are pretty worn out because I've worn them for several years now. So I'm not like heartbroken about getting rid of these. All right, hold on. <laughs> I could actually get these on. Let me tilt you down a little bit. Okay, so these do actually fit, but they're definitely tight and they look very small for sure. I do think at the end of the day, they're just a little short for my taste now. The bottom of them is literally like in line with my crotch and they definitely used to be bigger. This is just how they fit my current body. So let's get rid of these. Okay, next up we have these brown ribbed flare leggings. I do think I'm gonna get rid of these. I just really don't love how they fit my body to be honest. And then we have these Levi's. I want these to work so badly, guys. I bought them and had them literally tailored to fit me perfectly. So they were not a cheap pair of pants by any means. And I love the wash. They have like a boot cut, which I think is so fun, like a little flare. Let me try these on, but I'm pretty sure there was a point where these were really tight on me and I really hope, really, really hope that I can still wear them. Okay, here's the pants. I am gonna hang on to these. I honestly didn't even, <laughs> I'm like out of the frame. I honestly didn't even expect to be able to get them on, but I can. So that's enough grounds for me to keep these. And I do still think they look great. They are a little bit tight, so they're not the most comfortable, but I feel like for like a special occasion where I want a more fitted jean, these still look really good. And they're not so tight where I'm like, this is completely impractical. These don't fit me. So I'm happy that I don't have to get rid of these. These pants I have not worn since my senior year of college when I was many pounds lighter and I did not expect them to fit, but they do and they still look really cute. These are definitely my most fun pair of pants. They also look great on the butt. Can we take a moment? 
I'm definitely in a phase right now of wearing a lot of really loose items, but I could totally see myself wanting to wear more fitted pants again, and I do feel like these are really cool. I'm gonna hang on to them at least for now. On to the next. <laughs> love these, they fit so great. These were a staple of my closet last year, and I still love them. These are just green khaki shorts from American Eagle. Very practical, very comfortable, go great with a black tank top. We love to see it. I feel like I'm being punked because every piece that I did not expect to fit, I'm suddenly like, this looks great. I don't remember these being so comfortable, but they are. These are just a pair of Brandy Melville sweatpants. They say New York, New York on them. I'm not usually a sweatpants gal, but I think these look great. I'm sorry guys, I'm really not being as uh, cutthroat as I was last time, but a lot of this shit is pleasantly surprising me. Try and close on especially when you're filming, the most exhausting activity in the world. Forget work, forget exercising. Ultimate workout is just trying clothes on. Okay, I'm gonna call my grandparents and then we'll continue. <laughs> this, I feel like would be so cute together and so comfy. I'm, I'm wearing that ASAP. All right, we're in the final stretch. So we have these two pairs of pants, both recent purchases, both still fit really well. Love both of them. These are brown Michael Kors pants. They're like one of my go-tos for the office. Very cute, very sophisticated. Slightly hard to style. I feel like brown is not the most versatile color. I would love to get a similar pair in black. Then I have these green khaki army pants. Very trendy, very cute, no complaints, love it. You can adjust the pants with these little ties, which I really like. Big fan of these, they're staying. Last but not least, we have these two skirts. So this is just this cool brown patterned skirt. I love how thin the material of this is because it is very comfortable when you're wearing it. So I do think I'm gonna keep it. Then we have this white pleated skirt. I think this skirt is going to go for a few reasons. One, it has stains on it that I have not been able to get out. So that's a pretty substantial con of it. Also, I just don't love it. I don't find myself reaching for it. Not to mention, I don't find it the most practical thing to wear because it's not a skirt. So I have to be worried about it flying up. For those reasons, it's not a very practical piece. And I care a lot about practicality. So this is going, this is staying. All right, let's take a look at the damage. This is all that's left. This side of the closet is entirely empty right now, which is slightly nuts. Obviously, I'm not going to have it this tightly packed. So let's go ahead and disperse it more evenly and get a more realistic look at what we have left. I am going to go ahead and sort it tops versus bottoms and just, you know, give us that satisfying final result. So let's do that. All right, I went ahead and spread out the clothes. Here I have all of my long sleeve tops, sweatshirts, jackets, and on the other side, I have all my pants, shorts, and tops, tank tops, and then more long sleeve and medium tops. And this just looks so much better than what we started with. I love that the hangers actually have some room to breathe now, and just obviously having everything organized is huge. And then this is the pile of everything we're getting rid of, which I feel really good about. I mean, there's probably like, I don't even know, like at least 20 items here. All right, guys, that is it for this closet clean out. I really hope that you guys enjoyed it. If you guys were cleaning your closet out alongside me, I hope that you made a ton of progress. Whatever's in your closet that makes you insecure, that doesn't fit anymore, that just isn't working for you, like get rid of it, I swear. I know sometimes it can come with a lot of guilt and hesitancy. Maybe you feel guilty when you haven't worn pieces enough, but just know that it's not doing anything to hang on to those things besides taking more energy out of you, like putting away on your shoulders. If you don't like the piece and you're not wearing it, genuinely just get rid of it. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If by some miracle you just happen to come across it without having seen my original Purging My Closet video, might be worth checking out. You might enjoy that one. I love you. Happy closet cleaning and bye. <laughs>